Are you tired of watching boring old press releases? Then you've come to the right place, the right channel, the number one channel for CEO interviews and company overviews. Welcome to Rich TV Live. Subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the like button on our videos to help with the YouTube algorithm. For more information and in-depth discussions and analysis, join our trading club at richpigsdaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to get alerted when our next CEO interview is released so you can discover the next 10 bagger. Hi, how is everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Egal Sudman, the CEO of Ircan Holdings Corp. How are you doing today, Egal? Oh, fantastic. Thank you for having me on. Always a pleasure. Excited to have you on the show. First time guest. Thank you for joining us today. And I wanted to start off by talking a little bit about the company, which just stated that it will be entering into the Canadian recreational cannabis market. And we were wondering, what is IRCAN's go-to market strategy? So thanks uh, again for having us and, and uh, getting our message out. Um, we are really positioned as, as a B2B play in the cannabis space. We work with a variety of different LPs. Uh, we process on a continuous base, uh, um, over a thousand kilos a week of biomass. We have uh, a lot of distillate available, uh, both on the THC and CBD side, uh, which is substantially different than majority of LPs that are playing in the cannabis space. Uh, we have probably three or 400 kilos at any one time available uh, for these LPs or other brands. We have a variety of different licenses. We have our R&D licenses, um, processing licenses, and now we have our, our sales license as well. Um, with a sales license, we find that a lot of uh, LPs as well as brands um, need, need and, and require that relationship in order to put uh, those products on the, on the shelves. In, uh, in Canada, a lot of things get, not a lot of things, all the things are getting sold through the boards, uh, through the liquor boards and, and uh, the cannabis boards uh, in every province. Um, so our strategy is really to partner with best in, in class brands and LPs. Um, that are able to produce, market, and sell their products through us, uh, especially with the fact that we are, um, you know, producing the, the distillate or the, or the formulations, as well as packaging and being able to bring a, a valuable product and a valuable proposition into the recreational space. That's fantastic. Now, IRCAN is also planning to complete its phase two facility sometime this year. What can you tell us about the work currently underway for phase two? And once complete, what does that mean for IRCAN? Yeah, um, so we are basically about 80% complete now. Um, I think that uh, we'll be able to uh, get that up and running uh, over the next four to six weeks. Uh, the intention is, uh, I think we pretty much um, you know, actively pursuing the, uh, the co-packing business. Um, we are producing right now, like I said, over a thousand kilos a week of, of input biomass. We can expand that, you know, substantially more on the processing side. When it comes to formulation, filling, uh, and packaging, right now we're able to do about a million filled packages a year. Uh, with the expansion, we should grow that to about three million units um, and grow from that as required. We have the space for both storage and production. Um, and that's sort of the intention. I think that uh, uh, we're very responsible of how we spend money, um, you know, and, and we do things quite quickly. Uh, and like I said, I think four to six weeks is, is sort of the time frame of, of having more production um, at par and, and phase to build out and, and starting to produce uh, uh, more than what we produce right now. That's great. Now, today you also announced that IRCAN is partnering with Green Bee Botanicals, a California-based cannabis-infused wellness brand. Could you please tell us what the strategy and vision is behind this partnership? And when does the company intend to launch Green Bee products in Canada? So we, we source out, like I mentioned, uh, you know, to bring products, uh, best-in-class sort of products around the world uh, into Canada and represent that. Uh, that relationship into the recreational board as well as, well as the medicinal boards. Uh, before we signed up with Green Bee or signed them up, uh, we signed with Bazelet, which is the leading uh, uh, medicinal cannabis company in Israel. 
um, uh, or the largest one as well. Uh, California, we went there. There's obviously a lot of brands. Green Bee is a, an award-winning women-led um, initiative in the topical space. Uh, they've won multiple awards as best in class. Um, we can't really talk about in Canada ba based on regulation on the fact of how good their products are and what they do um, uh, for skincare and both in health and beauty. Uh, but um, I think people will address that as, as they read more about us and about what we do. Um, the intention is to, we have all their formulations, you know, the relationship is very exclusive. Um, we intend uh, in Canada, it takes about two months uh, to have uh, products submitted to Health Canada and approved. So we're hoping that uh, within three or four months, you know, those products are going to be on the shelf. We are addressing the formulations now. Obviously, we have the, the active component, the cannabinoids that are required both on the THC and the CBD side. What we do intend to bring to market is that a lot of products that are made in the U.S., especially in California, have a lot less cannabinoid content. So it could be you know, 50 milligram or 100 milligram total of THC and CBD. Um, our formulation uh, that the ones we work with them on um, is going to be probably the two, three, four, 500 milligram uh, in a container, which is at least twice, if not, you know, four, four or five times more than what's available right now in the rec space in Canada. And on the medicinal side, as you can appreciate, their formulation is award winning. Um, our co-packing and, and responsibility is, uh, is in place. And I think it's a winning formulation. That sounds great. Sounds like you guys are on the right track. Now, we talked about the share structure earlier today, and we really love fundamentals here at Rich TV Live. We really like to understand the fundamentals. And two things that are really caught my attention. I like your share structure, 119 million fully diluted and no debt. That is extremely important for us in our community here. Can you talk a little bit about your share structure and maybe how many shares are held by insiders? Yeah. Um, so like we, like you mentioned, you know, earlier, we talked about the fact that, um, you know, we believe that putting our money where our mouth is together with our friends and family. Um, so it's about 120 million fully diluted, uh, both myself, my partner, family and friends uh, and very close uh, hold probably 60 to 70 million shares out of that, uh, you know, so we're very entrenched into the company. Um, you know, we locked up obviously for three years uh, with no intention of, you know, of going anywhere. Uh, we believe in aligning ourselves with uh, uh, not only family and friends, but also investors that believe in us. You know, we feel very responsible uh, of using people, other people's money um, and, and not wasting it or spending it uh, when there is no need to it. Um, and and uh, I feel that, uh, you know, moving forward, that's not going to really change. We don't intend to take on any debt. Uh, we don't have any debt. You know, we invested whatever we invested, invested, you know, personally. Um, we did a small raise when we went public for about 500000 a couple of months ago. It was oversubscribed, you know, and, and we, we came out, I think it was 18 or 19 cents that people subscribed with a warrant. So, you know, we believe that everybody that sort of uh, believes in us. We want them to to go for the ride with us, uh, and uh, for it to be a winning proposition for everybody. I love it. This is music to our ears. I know our community. We love to go for rides. Now, when I went through your website, I noticed that you have a section called Marketplace. Now, this is very unique. I love this plan, where it plans to distribute cannabis products to medical patients in Canada. When does the company expect to launch its official marketplace? And what kind of products will the company be launching through its marketplace? So our strategy on, on the marketplace is, is twofold. Uh, one, obviously, you know, dealing with the cannabis uh, medicinal users in Canada and being able to sell to them directly instead of going to the boards. Uh, that's what's available and, and allowed. Um, the way we're structuring it, it's right now in beta. People are able to sign up with a prescription. Um, right now, if they call us or, or they, they send an email, uh, we can get their prescription filled. Um, on the products that we have. Uh, we find that the, uh, the strategy is really to give them a more beneficial uh, value. Uh, so a lot of products that are available at higher potency um, and higher concentration are available on the marketplace directly to, to medicinal users at a cheaper rate that they can buy recreationally, a little secret there, um, and, and being able to, we believe in value, you know, be it an investor, be it uh, you know, a consumer and so forth. Uh, the marketplace, the way we intend to do it is, is really a, an Amazon model. Uh, so other the, the fact that we have our own products for sure, um, we're also able to fulfill 
package manufacture for other LPs that may not have the access to the recreational markets because you know it's a monopoly. Uh, so us being able to manufacture that, offer that through the marketplace, they can offer it to their own users, their own medicinal patients that they may have lined up and, and signed up um, at a substantial discount. So they get the, you know, all the revenue directly uh, and, and can deal with them directly. We don't intend to sell obviously only our products. The idea is to have an Amazon type of uh, uh, structure or a marketplace where all the LPs or any LPs that is able um, to produce product will work on a drop ship model where, you know, we'll obviously promote it, advertise it, you know, do all the legislation that is required around it, um, take a much smaller cut uh, that, um, you know, is being done now um, in, the, in the industry. And, uh, and uh, there's more money lining up the LPs uh, that are making products right now, um, as well as producing new products on a continuous basis. Wow, that sounds great. It sounds like you guys have a lot on the go. Congratulations on all your success so far. The CEO of IRCAN Holdings Corp., Egal Sudman. Thank you for joining us today, Egal. Thank you very much for having me. Looking forward to more. Always a pleasure. Now, if you guys like these videos, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence and do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about or discuss here in Rich TV Live. Now, in saying that, I believe this company is undervalued underappreciated, underexposed. So please add them to your watch list, add them to your radar. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. I believe this is a company that has incredible upside. Like we said, no debt, tight share structure, strong management team in a growing company, growing revenue in a growing industry. So I think the upside is tremendous. Thank you for your time today, Egal. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching everybody. Have yourselves a great day.